Hey guys, up until now, we have set up everything and we are good to go. Let's understand folder structure of Flutter project we created in previous video. As you can see on my screen, I have opened project created in previous video into VS Code and Android Studio. So let's start understanding folder structure from top to bottom. First thing in the structure is Dart tool. Dart tool is new in Dart 2. It is actually used by pub package manager which is package manager for flutter project and other tools it is replacement of dot pub directory which was in earlier version of dart next is dot idea dot idea is one of the hidden folder created by ide since we created this project in android studio in previous video and android studio is a variation of intellij idea every project in intellij idea contains this directory called dot idea which is ignored from git version control this folder contains ide specific configurations if we create flutter project in vs code or in terminal we won't find this directory in the project since i have opened same project in vs code also so we are seeing dot idea folder here as well next is android folder as name suggests it contains android platform specific code if we need to write anything android specific platform code into a flutter project we are going to write in this folder next is build build folder actually contains all the generated code and built by flutter project in this folder ios is exactly same as android it contains ios platform specific code if we need to write anything in flutter project you would be wondering when we need to write platform specific code of android and ios let's suppose we are writing a project or an application which has to deal with battery life or a gps feature in the phone then we are going to write that code in the folder of android and ios because it totally depends on hardware and platform of android and ios next folder in the list is lib lib is actually main folder of dart project or a flutter project it contains all the code which has been written in Dart and it acts as an entry point of our Flutter applications. In the subsequent videos, when we will write multi screen app, we will create related folders and Dart files into this lib. So we can say this is the main source code folder of Dart programming for Flutter project. Next in the list is test. As name suggests, all test cases, all test scenarios, all test cases will sit into test folder. Now you can see there are some files below test folder on root level of the project. These are basically configuration files which are being used by IDE and language tool of your choice. Let's understand one by one all the files so that we can get insight of each file. Let's start with gitignore git ignore is a hidden file that contains list of files and folders which are need to be ignored by the git version control when source code is checked in or uploaded to upstream of git versioning system like github and gitlab items which are written in this file will not be uploaded or will not be checked in to the upstream next in the list is dot metadata all the files and folders which start with dot are hidden files so metadata is also a hidden file this file tracks the properties of flutter project and it is used by flutter tools to access capabilities and platform upgrades if i open this file this file contains version details and project type of our flutter app and we can see version has two parameters one is revision which is long alphanumeric number another one is channel which is stable next in the list is dot packages this is also a hidden file this dot packages is replacement of packages directory of early dart versions dot packages file is one of the package managers file which manage third party and reusable controls or components which are used in the project next in the list is flutter underscore app dot iml or your project name dot iml this is an xml file which is used by editor engine to get configuration of java modules used by the project next file in the list is pubspec.log just like packages file or dot packages file 
This file is also used by pub manager in order to get concrete version and other identifying information for every immediate and transitive dependency used in this project. Next file in the list is pubspec.yaml. This file is also used by pub manager to get and load the packages that are used in this project also includes third party packages. This is the only file on root level of the project in which we will make changes in order to add dependencies or packages which will be used in the project. Next in the list is readme.md. This is a markdown file and it's completely option. Usually it contains details of the project or information of the project you want to show to others. For example, if some new developer or a programmer comes to your project and he wants to understand what this project is about, you can write all those information into readme.md file. So this is the basic structure when you create any Flutter project. What Flutter does for you when you create a Flutter project, it creates a demo app for you to visualize and play around it that we have already covered in previous video. If you haven't watched previous videos such as why to use Flutter, I have explained more than 15 reasons to use Flutter in your next application and getting started with Flutter which contains installing Flutter SDK and setting up Android Studio and VS Code as your code editor and we saw how to create a Flutter application and how to run a Flutter application and we tried Hot Reload in the previous video. That's pretty much I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video. If you find this video useful, please like it, share with your friends and subscribe to get notified for the future videos.